All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. So today I did a whole bunch of different things, um, a little bit of everything, but at the beginning of the day I worked on mounting this box right here and uh, pulling some wire for a 480 volt um, three phase 30 amp plug. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, coworker worked on part of this. I worked on part of this. Um, basically just um, taking this piece of EMT straight up to the ceiling. Um, got some strut supports going up. Um, so that was one thing. And then the second thing, there's another panel right here. Uh, or there's a panel right here um, at the bottom, which was off screen going up. And so I bent my bent a 90-90 for my coworker. He was up in the air. Is that second pipe there in the middle? He was up on this lift. It's a pretty neat lift. It really, um, can you really get into some really good angles here? Um, so he, I was just basically handing him pipe or bending pipe for him, and handing him pipes and connectors or anything he really needed. So, um, I was standing around for a while, for a while, just helping him out. So that was super easy and fun. Um, but I did bend that uh, ninety ninety on my first try. I haven't really done any pipe in a really long time, um, since I've been working with Nick. Um, at my last company, then um, then they decided to have me tear out the plug and um, mount this disconnect switch, so I did that. Um, so I had to take apart my the work that we worked on at the beginning of the day and then replace that. Um, so that all worked out eventually. Um, so just brought the home run in to the top on the line side of the disconnect, and then the load side over to the plug next door, again. And then this is kind of a, re a recap of everything. It's like a big warehouse looking thing, uh, industrial type building um, for stainless steel. Um, it's a giant factory. Uh, looks like where they build um, stainless steel products for customers, um, like spec orders. Um, so it's a pretty cool place. Um, as soon as I walked in, it reminded me, the smell reminded me of my dad because he used to work at a um, machine company so it smelled like him as soon as I walked in so um, that was cool um, but anyways here is the back side of the uh, disconnect pipe going up to the ceiling um, I don't, so I don't know how long my co co-workers have been working here but there's a pipe already up there so we mounted a box and then just 90 down um, to the disconnect um, this is in super slow-mo and then um, Coworkers were working on another box over here. Um, I think those are going up to the rooftop units. Um, I think one of them was power in and then one of them going back um, for power out possibly. I'm not sure exactly um, the layout there for that. But there's a box right there with a um, some type of flexible um, conduit going up to the roof for a rooftop unit, I believe, or for a disconnect on the roof for a rooftop unit. Um, so that was either um, a seal tight or a metal seal tight, um, L LMFC or um, the other one, the Polyflex. So one, one has a metal inside, like for watertight conditions, and the other one has plastic. I'm not sure which one my coworkers used. And then um, another run of pipe comb in here, which was um, the one that I showed you earlier, which I started with a 9090. Um, and then that pipe come down, came down to that purlin right there, took a, another 90, um, going across the ceiling here. I think my coworker probably did a foot or two off of this giant beam or purlin. I don't know the difference between a purlin and the beam. I think the beam is just the big one and the purlins are the smaller ones. So anyways, he measured about a foot off the beam and then took another 90 um, right behind this light uh, mounted into a junction box. Um, or I mean straight into the junction box and then I think he just mounted another short piece of pipe going forward or maybe it stopped but then from that junction box mounted a 90 down to one plug on one column and another plug on the other column um, actually yeah I think the other there was another pipe going to the north or in this case in reality I think that was actually west um, going to another uh, pipe which will be for the uh, some plugs for the welding station um, which we um, didn't finish yet so we'll be working on that tomorrow this was um, kind of annoying I had to offset around that 
little piece right there and this stuff takes a really long time to drill into with screws so that was fun um, but anyways it's a really cool facility there's a lot of giant machines this is like a cnc machine if i said that right um, basically just put a piece of metal in there and then it just cuts out whatever with like water or lasers so really cool stuff i don't know how much power this building is using but it's got to be a lot because there's tons of people just grinding and a lot of electricity being used so it's a crazy cool place um so yeah it was a super great day um it was pretty cold this morning but at the end of the day it got really hot so i had to basically strip down my t-shirt had to take off my sweatpants in the bathroom because it was so hot but overall it was a really great day and uh super enjoyable so yeah thanks for guys for watching i appreciate it i think there's another clip here at the end of the video but i can't remember maybe it was just this but thanks guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe i appreciate it It'll help out the channel check the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload or do live streams peace out